What's up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube with a bizarre story time. So this one's going to involve a collection that I purchased. Here's the deal. I got a message from someone on my YouTube channel saying, I have these cards. Are they worth anything? And I said, sure, if you want to send me a picture or whatnot, I can take a look, tell you what you've got, if you've got anything. Because typically with these kinds of messages, you know, it's always like, I have all these old cards, I'm going to be a millionaire. And what happens, they always fall short. Either the cards are damaged or they're not first edition, whatever the case may be. But this person's collection, his name was Peter way way different you're talking old school first edition cards in great shape for the most part and so he said you know what can i just ship them to you and uh, you could take a look see their conditions uh tell me what you'd offer me for them because i just want to get this stuff out of here he actually said his wife has been clamoring for him to uh, kind of get rid of it as junk so Long story short, he had four other cards that he sold to a card shop owner, a magic shop, Magic the Gathering shop owner, and the owner paid him $14, $14 for Chaos Emperor Dragon, Gate Guardian, and Raigeki, all first edition, near mint plus, $14. So when I said that, I was like, holy crap, they are not worth $14. And so I looked at his collection... Um, I told him what eBay would give him basically on a raw valuation as near mint plus and then said what I would give him in PayPal cash. So what happened was I actually paid him in PayPal cash um, because, you know, obviously you don't want to deal with the fees, setting up an eBay account, shipping, whatnot. Um, very trusting of him to actually ship me all his stuff without even um, making an offer on it yet or anything. So... Nonetheless, let's get right to it. As you could see, I put in card savers, the best cards. A lot of these cards I'm thinking will be between 8s and 9s. Some have a potential 10, but most of them, especially the real high-end stuff, I'm seeing like between 7s, 8s, and 9s. So, <clears throat> we start here with Mechanical Chaser. This was actually in the first page of this book, and I, could, I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Mechanical Chaser... A Red Eyes Black Dragon LOB First Edition, Trihorn Dragon LOB First Edition, First Edition Wavy, some may say First Print Exodia Head, and here's more. A Celtic Guardian Wavy, Swords of Revealing Light Wavy, Man Eater Bug, this is the um, Glossy Print, Trap Hole, and I believe this one is Glossy as well, and then we get some Metal Raiders. But before we continue on with the Metal Raiders, Let's just look at some of the binder. I mean, there were four different binders, and even the binders are really cool looking. Two Kaiba binders, one Yugi binder, and um, one Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game binder. So, again, it's just so rare that you come across these cards, and, and they have not been graded. I mean, this was a story I feel like everybody here on my channel should be able to appreciate. You talk about finding hidden treasure. Let's see. So, well, we had the camera fly out on us, uh, so we continue on here. A flying camera. Here's just some unlimited cards. A Fiber Jar, Invader Darkness, um, Azura Priest, DD Scout Plane, Insect Princess, Freed the Brave Warrior, or Wander, I should say, Great Zard, and Beast of Tall War. These are all unlimited, so nothing too crazy in this binder, right? But as we check on the other binders, let's see if we can straighten this out here. Let's see as we check on the other binders you won't believe some of the stuff here we go and i already showed you the mechanical chaser and all those lob cards here's a valkyrian a black tyranno first edition let's see if we could zoom in here guardian sphinx sphinx first edition end of anubis blowback dragon fusion richie mazera deville arch Lord Zerato, Mazera Deville again, Spirit of the Pharaoh, a lot of ancient sanctuary stuff here. Two Zaborgs, the Thunder Monarchs, Legacy Hunter, Needle Burrower. And two of these, Embassy of the Afterlife, uh, Stone Statue of the Aztecs, just some supers. And then Mystical Knight of Jackal, and uh, Insect Princess, and another Mystical Knight of Jackal in first edition. So, Dark Master Zork DCR first edition. A um, Gear Golem, the Moving Fortress, first edition, Ancient Sanctuary. And here we go. These are just some uh, Soul of the Duelists, some Supers, Rares, and Ultras. Unfortunately, no Ultimates here. 
Horus, the Black Flame, or the Winged Dragon, level 8. Uh, here's some ultimates. Here's a Mobius, Ultimate Mystic Swordsman. Two of these. Uh, let's see. Oh, and there's an Ultimate Rare uh, Mobius, so that's cool. And two of these. Um, nothing too crazy. Silent Swordsman, level 3. And then and, uh, Arm Dragon, level 7. And then let's look at this one here. As we see... A Dark Mirror Force, all first edition. Nobleman of Cross Out, Grave Robber, Dark Magician's for or uh, I already said that. A Dark Mirror Force, Grave Robber. Reload, there's a promo card. Uh, Seal of the Ancients, Wild Nature's Release, Imperial Order first edition. It's a cool one. Uh, Magical Hats, Mirror Wall, all first edition. Uh, that's a Duelist League. Necro Valley, Tribute to the Doom, that's unlimited. Um, premature Burial, Dedication Through Light and Darkness, those are first editions. Um, just some more promos, more first editions, these aren't really worth too much. Um, reload again, I love these artworks again, two more of these in first edition. Trap Jammers, Death Counter Blow, an Ultimate Rare Spirit Barrier. And then that's cool. A uh, Dark Magic Attack times two. And two Burst Stream of Destructions, all first edition. Very cool from Ancient Sanctuary. Here's a uh, the first sar sarcophagus, Mirage of Nightmare, DD Designator, and Amplifier. Here's a Heavy Storm first edition, um, Metal Raiders. Now again, the problem with that card, and a lot of the cards in general, you could see here. Let's see if we could zoom in. Specifically on, be tough to get on this camera. Oh, you could see, yeah, right here. You could see all that whitening, all the whitening on the sides, and then all that whitening up top. It, it's very hard to, to catch without the right angle, but you definitely can see a lot of whitening on that corner. Um, so a lot of these cards weren't in the best shape. Now, he did say he put them right into these, these binders when he pulled them. He pulled them all pack fresh. So some were in better condition than others, but obviously, when you have a card that's basically, for example... Let's see. Let's take the Creed. Here's another ultimate. Let's take the Creed out here. You know, when they're just in, in, in these plastic sleeves, so to say, they can move around, jiggle around there. I just say jiggle around. They're, they're really thick. Um, no, but uh, they, they can move around, and obviously heat, uh, humidity could get into the backs of these, and it could cause sticking. So you could have a lot of sticking going on. A lot of back surfaces, I noticed, with these cards. There was a lot of um, residue, unfortunately. So that's really tough to take out. So unfortunately, not uh, not the best condition. I'm thinking we'll get a few 10s. But uh, with the big stuff that I showed you, unfortunately, probably not 10-worthy. But let's see. Here's a Red Eyes. That's the um, L-O-B-E version. Right there, a little bit E. That's the European version. The jump red eyes. Here's the blue eyes uh, PC promo. I blue eyes first edition LOB, but it is. Let's see if we can. An Asian English version, and it's way off center too. Tom to bottom. This might actually get no C grade, which I would be pretty ecstatic. So, here's a Suijin first edition. Let's see what else we got. Invader of Darkness, Mecha Fortress, all first edition, English, Invader of Darkness again. I love this, a Black Tyranno again, a uh, Skull Archfiend, a Manticore of Darkness, first edition. Two Kaiser Gliders, a great centered Yamada Dragon. I have not looked at these yet. Another, is that another Skull Archfiend? Oh no, is this, okay, it was just one Skull Archfiend. Um, Guardian Seals. Berserk Dragon, Different Dimension Dragon, Parasite, Parasite, Harpy's Lady Sisters, cool card. Again, I'll take those out and see what we got. A Feet Mega Cyber, Dark Bolter the Terrible, Two Guardian Angel Jones, Fusion Richie, Dark Bolter the... Oh, that may have been the same one. Another great uh, Dizard, that one's first edition, DD Scout Plane, Two Strike Ninjas. Very cool. And uh, Breaker, first edition, first edition, Catapult Turtle. DD Warrior Lady, and this one MFC, Amazonist uh, Swordswoman. Unfortunately, no Dark Paladin, Dark Magician Girl, 
Um, these are the, the promos from the game, a Machine King, and I think that is it. So here are the remaining cards that I think are gradable. Uh, Barrel Dragon, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, Buster Blader, Call the Haunted, Lava Golem, Exodia Necros, Exodia Necros, Dark Magician of Chaos, Dark Magician of Chaos, Yana Grasu, pretty off centers, Diffusion Wave Motion, this one was pretty beat up too, and a uh, Seven Tools of the Bandit from MRD. So I'm going to check those other MRD cards. But uh, as you can see, all these cards, I mean, it's rare to find these not encapsulated and graded. And um, I definitely gave him, I think, a fair offer. I told him, you know, if you don't grade them, and you sell them all on eBay in near mint condition or so, because a lot of these won't get 10s, right? So it's crazy because a 10 of, let's say, for example, uh, Trihorn Dragon, a 10 is worth like 700 bucks, but a 9 is substantially less. You're talking like two or 300, so... Um, that's if it gets a 9. I'm thinking a lot of these could get 7s and 8s. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Mechanical Chaser, Red Eyes B Dragon. That, obviously, I would love a 10, but I don't think it's going to get it. A Trihorned, Exodia, Wavy. A lot of these Wavy LOB cards. Some of these are second print, too. But, um, as you could see, there's the Blue Eyes 2. Oh, debris. Uh, Buster Blader, Call the Haunted, Lava Golem, Exodias, Dark Magician Chaos, Yana, Diffusion, Seven tools, some great, great stuff, even not in 10 shape. Still, I think I gave him a fair offer, and uh, I think he's happy with it too. So, we'll see what happens. I mean, I think I'll make out okay. You know, I told him for me to make out okay. I'm assuming these things are going to get like eights. Um, and if, it, if they come out back higher than eights, I think I'm, I'll be really okay. Um, I, I'm not expecting any tens, unfortunately, but. Uh, We'll see. I mean, the Mechanical Chaser, such a cool card. That's got some corner wear, as you could see. It's hard to see. It. Let's see. Oh, right there. Yeah, so see, so you can you could see that. Oh, yeah, you could really see that corner. Uh, definitely got something going on there. So, um, again, not the best condition stuff, but something you never see. And obviously, just great for any collection. So... Pretty cool story there. Uh, Peter, one of the greatest guys. I mean, he was, I mean, to trust me, just sending out his cards just blindly and saying, just, you know, s tell me what they're worth. And he, you know, again, he went to a card shop and he said, um, a Chaos Emperor Dragon Raigeki and a Gate Guardian All First Edition. He sold for $14. That is a shame. So, uh, yeah. Not, not, not good. But thanks again, Peter. These will be going out in my next submission. So excited for these. Not expecting the tens or even nines, but excited to see what I can get. So very cool. Until next time, I figured I'd sh share a story with you guys. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube, signing out.